Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Crime Centric. This being a show where I talk about crime dramas that I watch. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about True Lies, Season 1, Episode 4. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. So this episode revolved around an assassin that uh, Omega Sector has to work with called The Wolf, which I saw Matthew Lillard's name in the opening, and I was like, oh yeah, like he's got to be The Wolf. I wasn't expecting that characterization of The Wolf or Nathan, and I guess that's supposed to be the quirky like juxtaposition of he doesn't seem like the assassin type. You think like, oh, he seems like he might be a little weird, kind of dorky, but turns out he's like a cold-blooded killer. And Harry, it's not a fan of him, but they have to work together because... Basically, was it Serbia and Albania are like going to war because like a what was it like an Albanian or Serb like one uh, person from one group was killed and they think each of the like one is like oh it was an inside job you're doing that as an excuse to invade us and um, Serbia th I think it was like and Albania thinks like Serbia did that killing its own official just to do that uh, to justify a war invasion and Al. Uh, Serbia, Serbia saying that Albania did it, or it might have been vice versa with that. But whatever the case may be, it can lead to some very nasty circumstances. I can obviously like we could get like lead eventually lead down to the war when like when I like, and a lot of the nuclear powers get involved type of situation. So they have to bring in an assassin to stop an assassin because this person might be you know finding out who's behind all this, who's at the heart of all of this. So. The problem is for Harry as well is that Nathan and Helen became for the moment Helen sat at the table with him. I was like, that's going to be the, the twist of this episode. I wasn't expecting that to become the budding friendship that it did. But it's also Harry's fault because Harry wasn't listening to Helen because she was like, right, dealing with everything with the training. and But Harry was preoccupied with work because for him, it's like, oh, God, this guy, I don't trust him. The fact is, like, the, he's like, there's an op I went on that involved the wolf we never really met. But the fact is... He left a grisly scene behind, and people had were just terrified and said, like, right. It was just like looking into a, a well of darkness in his eyes that there was nothing behind it. And Harriet's like, yeah, what made it even worse is he got a euro after. It's like, well, people love euros. There's nothing wrong with that. It's like, no, the problem is he killed people, and immediately, who, who goes gets the euro after murdering people? Like, who does that? Also, I should also know, Matthew Lillard being in his episode, all it made me think, too, is just, ah, oh, good girls. Just needed one more season. You could have wrapped that up with a fifth and final season. It's just, oh, it's just, it's just a reminder of that. It's like, oh, oh, that sucks so much, dude. I, oh, that's just like seeing him just made me think of that. Uh, but either way, I even love. I mean, it's it's a situation. I mean, we actually kind of got to know the wolf ahead of time. I won't lie to you. There was a part of me in the back of my mind like, are we going to find out he's actually the bad guy in this episode? But it turns out he's the quote unquote good guy but it's like i thought like maybe he was setting all this up especially because every time something would happen he'd basically be like well that's how i would do it and i love harry being like that's how you would do it it's like he's like why is no one else because uh he hits it off with the rest of the team like they i mean obviously uh luther was a big fan of him from the very beginning I was like oh man i like the guys are so cool but when you meet him you're like wait you're the wolf i mean what should I call you mr wolf and he's like no i know who you are luther maria gibbs like i know who you guys are and he hits it off with everyone Everyone, but for Harry, it's like everyone, including Helen, like has stars in their eyes when it comes to this guy. And he feels like he's the only one that sees him for the, quote, murderous psychopath that he is. So that ends up being um, an interesting situation that Harry has to be in. It's not even like a jealousy situation like episode two was. Uh, it's just more so like, I don't like this guy. He creeps me out. He scares me. It has every right to be scared because the guy literally got past all your security systems and just strolled up at your house. And it's like, why, why are you at the back door? Why didn't you just go through the front door? He's like, well, I'm just kind of used to going through the, like the, you know, the back door. Like I'm always used to like sneaking into places. So it just, it, he does it on a normal basis. Um, even when he was leaving, it's like, just leave, leave out the front door. I also love that Harry's like, I could have shot you. He's like, oh, that's, that's funny. And he says it later on. And it's like, oh, that's, that's still funny, Harry, that you actually think you would be able to shoot me. It's like, jeez, that guy is scary. But yeah, like every time he's just kind of like referencing. But once again, he hits it off with, um, Helen, who's struggling with her training, um, and once again, Harry's so caught up in his own work that, you know, he isn't doing his job as a partner and, you know, communicating and listening to his uh, partner, like, because she felt so, 
outside of things because he's like, babe, I got to I got to work on like this assignment and stuff like that. It'll be fine. Like everyone has to go through the training. He wasn't like, being sympathetic. It wasn't, you know, he wasn't being supportive in that regard. And Nathan was. And it wasn't until Gib pointed it out. Lawyer's like, right. She, Nathan's giving her some because she even thought about it. Like she doesn't have any friends at work because she even said she's the only trainee. So it's like, right. You know, she was looking around the cafeteria and was like, oh, you're like the new girl at school. I mean, not just new girl, like the new kid at school being like, oh, I don't know where I fit. And that's why you sat down with Nathan. It's like, hey, and they connect it because and this also plays into the wolf where I was saying like earlier on, we kind of learned about him is that. Well, from a very young age, he was always odd, and so his mom told him to kind of research people, which obviously he applies that in the regards of how he kills people now, but it's also like, that's why he ended up connecting with everyone, because he did research on everyone on the team to kind of be able to immediately hit it off with him. I love the little, like when he was training um, Helen, and he showed her, like, you know, we were getting her training situation, like the upbeat music, and he's hanging out with everyone and dropping... Uh, like he dropped off like a, a coffee or a latte or whatever uh, for Maria and it's just kind of like a A type of situation it's just and him and uh, Gibbs doing the high five and him and Luther having the same bag it's actually and just Harry's just looking and scowling like why is why am I the only one that sees him for who he really is which I love him calling him a psychopath and he heard it and he looks so mad I was like oh that last thing you want is a uh, top class assassin pissed at you and to the point he creeped on you in the uh, and popped up out of nowhere and it's like oh yeah Helen's a part of this mission and it's like yeah see you tomorrow Harry I was like that's not disconcerting at all um but yeah, that's why I was like, the entire time, I'm like, are we going to find out he's actually behind all of this? I don't know. I also love that Helen brings up a good point. I'm like, yeah, you've killed people too. He's like, yeah, but you know, when it's kind of necessary and I kill them up front, it's like the wolf double taps people from behind. It's like, well, I mean, to be fair, that's not just him. That's like a, that's an everyone thing. Like that's the go-to execution style for any assassin, you know? I mean, Hitman himself, Agent uh, 47, you know, I'm sure, I mean, I also, I'm sure. I'm not well-versed enough in the Hitman games to say, like, he kills everyone like that, because obviously those games are kill people in very various ways and stuff, but it's like, you know, that's like, it feels very, like, Hitman-ish and Assassin-ish, regardless, because your whole thing is supposed to be about stealth, and Harry's more so about, like, right, I kind of, almost, like, more pride in, like, oh, I face people face-to-face, that, like, you're kind of like a, ugh, it's worse that kill people when they don't know you're there, and, like, double-tapping them from behind or something, like, but, like, that was the point Helen was making. It's like, you also kill people, too. And I kind of accept it. Like, you're a spy thing. But it's like, yeah, we can all admit he's still kind of an oddball. Because he was looking at this fire and destruction of a place. It's like, hmm, I could go for her. Um... a sandwich right now or something like that. I might even ask, I think at that point he might even said like a grilled cheese and you're just like, oh God. I know he asked for a grilled cheese later. It's just like, he definitely seems weird. But yeah, uh, because he ended up, they ended up finding out the person behind all this are weapons dealers that basically they're showcasing new technology and they're going to use like a war to spark some fighting and be like, oh yeah, like look at this technology that helped us start this war. We're showcasing it and we'll be able to uh, sell it to the highest bidder type of situation, especially because this guy has connections on both fronts, on like the Serbian front and Albanian front. So it's like, it's meant to be a, a, a weapons play like that of like uh, selling it. So, but the team kind of fell into a trap, but Helen, who was brought onto the team because, you know, Nathan believes in her because for one, it's like, hey, this is my friend and which is also interesting, too, because Nathan later on was like, yeah, I was thinking about killing you. It's like, well, you know, you you kind of push for his wife to be on the mission. And that, granted, that was before. Well, we don't know if that was before or after he had um, Harry had said what he said. But it's like, yeah, I was actually thinking about killing you. But then Helen said something about a seed inside. And, you know, it made me go like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. He's also he's also besides like if I was going to kill you, you wouldn't see it coming. It's like. But the thing is, like, he doesn't, I mean, for one, his feelings were hurt. Even though he doesn't have feelings, he was still offended by it. Because it's like, right, especially when he has Helen's, because it's all, you know, it's that thing of Harry said the thing that reinforces something you've probably, that um, Nathan's heard his entire life about who he is. So, obviously, and he has Helen being like, no, you're a good person. I see the good in you, even though Harry doesn't. So, it was more so a thing of, we both need to make more of an attempt. I want you to potentially see the good inside of him. Helen, I want you to see the psycho inside of him that, you know, there is something a little off. So, 
But yeah, Helen being on a mission did work out in the end because she's the one that ended because she translated like the German or something, I believe, and she found out like right reading these these emails. This is written by someone who's in German pretending to be American because like you know. I think, you know, especially with, like, the pronunciations, not the pronunciation, like, punctuation and stuff like that. I'm sure there's, a, like, a lot of, like, technical, like, you know, when it comes to English of, like, how you're supposed to write something, it's, like, probably, like, it just mit, it didn't hit them more. Because she's also a, a, a teacher. Because uh, she, she's a language teacher, so, like, of course she would, like, she, would, no, she's not a language teacher. Is she an English? I don't remember what she teaches. God. Isn't she like an English teacher or something like that? Plus, you know, the fact that she's so good with languages. So, like, of course, that'd be, like, that's part of her skill set. Of course, she'd be the one that got to notice something like that. So, yeah, the whole thing was a setup because it's like, cool. They knew, like, the mini, uh, the, the explosive van was meant to be a situation of, yeah, if it hit its target, it hit its target. But if they knew, like, hey, the one person who could stop us, um, we need to lure them in and kill them. And then we can, you know keep um heightened things up until it turns into a full-blown war situation where like nato and the u.s and everything has to get involved so but uh luckily they were able to go in take out the team and it came down to the last guy and nathan was like oh yeah i was kind of looking for like the perfect vantage point but it's like oh that was pretty harrowing no oh, that was pretty close oh man i could go for a grilled cheese and it's like really come on so but ultimately harry taking Gibbs, uh, advice, but also, you know, because of the Nathan and, um, Helen relationship, like, like friendship that they had budding, he really pushed for her to become a full agent now because she showcased like, right. Like she, she kind of overqualified for, it. and I love that their boss is like, well, I was this and that, but I mean, who's keeping scores? Like, obviously you are, but yeah, Helen's officially, officially part of the team now. And Nathan left with uh, giving out gifts to everybody. And I love that he gave Harry, like, a really good, like, uh, pocket flashlight or whatever, because he's like, yeah, you know, just because you uh, get so creeped out in the dark, and it's just like, oh, you're so creepy, Nathan. I, I, I love that character, so. Even by the end, Helen had to admit that uh, Nathan uh, wasn't the... Uh, yeah, that at the very least, he's kind of a little extra because it's like, oh, he texted a picture saying thank you of him with a euro and a, in, in front near a, it's like, is he eating a euro near an explosion? It's like, yeah, OK, he's a he's a, he's a little much. But yeah, you, you know, so but it's like, yeah, I mean, I guess it's also Helen's good side to be able to. I mean, it all worked out in him because, I mean, if it wasn't for Helen talking to Nathan and being friends with him, the moment you you uh, accuse him of being a uh, murderous psychopath, he was thinking about killing you. But if it wasn't for Helen's conversation of like, right, I see the seed of good inside of you because she kept saying, you know, using that as a reference. Um, I think that's interesting because that metaphor has come up recently and something else of like, right, the seed that you kind of plant inside of yourself and other people, the kind of good that sprouts from it, you know, that conversation. But at the very least, maybe this will be the stepping stone to Helen making friends. I mean, because I, I think she's OK with the rest of the team. I mean, obviously, she's friends with Gibbs, but I don't know, like, where she stands really with Luther and uh, Maria, but maybe being closer friends with them or just other people in the... Uh, the office and stuff like that, you know, in Omega Sector, get to maybe learn more about them uh, type of situation, so. But also, like, this was obviously a, a growing experience for Harry, too, to think about, like, right, he wanted to, especially after last episode where he was like, right, I never had to think about stuff before because you were always home, so now he's like, now I want to make up for that by thinking more about home. Now it's also about, like, no, I need to, I need to listen to my partner more. Like, the fact of the matter is, I, and as Gibbs says, it's like, right, you get tunnel vision when it comes to work and stuff, and, you know, once again, he would have got more heads up about the wolf stuff if he had listened to uh, her talk. Well, she was talking, calling by Nathan because she was like, oh, yeah, the wolf. All right, because I forgot the whole bit that they have where he's like, oh, I'll teach you with like an M4 or whatever to shoot like the feeling off of someone's hip. And it's like, we'll call you the di I'll be the wolf and you'll be the dentist. Jinx. It's like, oh, it's so weird. And he even gave her a friendship bracelet calling her the dentist. So I'm like, oh, man, it's really sweet. That also doesn't come off like, I don't read that as like a, oh man, that, it doesn't, I mean, when you understand the connotation of the nickname, it's also like, kind of dark. It feels very serial killer-ish, like, oh, it's the dentist, or, wasn't there a dentist horror movie? 
Or like there was a horror, like a, a dentist who was like a serial killer or something like that. I don't remember. I feel like it was like a 90s movie or something. I uh, can't remember what it was. Um, but it also feels like it could be like a mob hitman, like... I don't know, like Tony the Dentist Falcone or something like that. I only use Falcone just because of Don Falcone from, um, or Falcone, depending on the continuity, you know, from Batman. Uh, Carmine and everything. Tensions and all that aside. Um, but yeah, it kind of gave me that type of feel. I mean, I guess that's also the point. It's supposed to be like a Hitman assassin name, so I guess it almost can be, interestingly enough, synonymous with an assassin. But regardless, like this was just like a fun episode all around, which is kind of weird to say. But I, I, I really just like love how much fun this show like uh, is and just has. So I'm excited to ultimately see where everything ends up taking us uh, going forward into the next episode. I'd love to get more episodes with the wolf, but it's probably just kind of a pop in here and there. But the character's out there in the universe and could always pop back in in some shape or form. So, But uh, really, that's all I wanted to talk about. To the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and good night.